Tesla stock price sees 50% upside potential. June 10, 2022. Tesla stock price sees 50% upside potential. According to UBS, the firm's new memo is titled, Time to be bold upgrade to buy as it is now a very attractive entry point into a robust and fast-growing business. Looking through Q2, Tesla's future is brighter than ever. UBS raised Tesla shares to buy from neutral and confirmed its $1,100 price target. Although the manufacturer's shares have lost about 35% in value since the beginning of the year. The firm believes that the operating outlook is better than ever before. Thanks to several important aspects record high order backlog and two new gigafactories ramping up. Margin momentum after the Q2 dip. Auto gross margin should structurally exceed 30%. Driven by pricing and product and process innovation. A structural competitive edge in key supply chains. Resulting in superior growth and profitability. While UBS cut its 2022 EPS by 12% due to the Shanghai lockdown, the firm is raising its EPS by 40% over the next three years. As a result, EPS is $28 EPS diluted 2025E. To be achieved mostly with already known products and production facilities, UBS expects Tesla's vertical integration in the semiconductors software, and battery areas to result in superior absolute growth and profitability in the years ahead. Integration represents a strong competitive advantage in the face of structurally tight supply chains. Batteries are the next bottleneck in the industry. According to the firm, Tesla is able to outperform the competition thanks to a combination of its own cell capacity, its lead over global competitors in the use of LFP cells, and its high share of direct sourced battery products primarily lithium, with a stable dominant global BEV market share of 20%. Tesla we believe is best positioned to become one of the top three global car makers by 2030. Latest headlines about a 10% salaried staff reduction don't change this long-term outlook. In our view, source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tesmanian. My take I already have Tesla as a buy. The recent dip is just a buying opportunity. Tesla registrations in the US are three times higher than all competitors combined. June 10, 2022, Tesla's dominance in the US electric vehicle marketplace is showing no signs of slowing down. According to the latest registration data, more than three times as many Teslas were registered through April when compared to all of the competition. Combined, the data comes from Experian which showed there were a total of 139,338 Tesla registrations in the U.S. in the first four months of the year. Ford came in second place with 11,751 EV registrations, followed closely by Kia with 11,483 during the same time period. Hyundai 9,675. Nissan 5,980. Volkswagen 3,527 and Chevrolet 1648 rounded out the rest of the competition. Add them all up, and the competition accounted for 44,064 registrations. Nearly 100,000 less than Tesla. Source reposted and summarized from Darren John at Drive Tesla Canada. My take in the near future. You will see headlines like this. But it will include ICE cars as well. Tesla Giga Shanghai to produce over 71,000 EVs in June 2022. June 10, 2022, the Tesla Giga Shanghai plant, which in 2021 was responsible for roughly half of Tesla's total production, is restoring full production. In late May, we heard that the output is at 70% of the pre-lockdown level, which is backed by the recent production and sales numbers for the month of May, at respectively 33,544 and 32,165. Reuters reports that Tesla aims to produce more than 71,000 made in China. Mike Model 3, Model Y in June, according to an internal production memo seen by Reuters. Potentially, it might be close to reaching a new monthly record and a clear sign that Tesla's production is in full swing on two shifts. Nonetheless, assuming 44,301 units were produced in April and May, the second quarter will end at maybe 115,300. That's still far below 178,887 during Q1. Reuters noted, this difference of roughly 64,000 units is basically the lost production. In line with our expectations of between 50,000 to 100,000 depending on various factors. 
It's a significant level. A solid month of production. But nothing that should stop Tesla from achieving a noticeable global year-over-year -year growth of production in Q2. Reuters unofficial sources also reveal that the current production output is at 90% of the pre-lockdown level. A separate article posted by CNEV Post, referring to the Shanghai Securities News, says that the level is already 100% as of June 9. Regardless of the exact value, the Tesla Giga Shanghai plant appears to be basically back on track. Later this month, potentially on June 13, the plant is expected to end the closed-loop system and allow employees to return home and commute to work. Source reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside E. V. S. My take there you have it. China and the two new factories all ramping up. It will make for a great third and fourth quarter. Tesla Model Y orders start in Australia. June 10, 2022. Tesla has started taking Model Y orders in Australia and Japan, expanding the all-electric SUV's global market even more. According to Tesla's order page in Australia, the Model Y rear-wheel drive RWD starts at $48,895.24 before options. On the other hand, the Model Y dual-motor all-wheel drive AWD performance variant costs $66.636, $62 before options. The Model Y's estimated delivery date in Australia is between November 2022 to February 2023 as of Friday, June 10. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. Might take another market where Tesla will eventually dominate both EV and ICE cars.